similar to some of the stations that we can find in Moscow and St. Petersburg. Small amount of money. And they can just use the finger for the payment and get a ticket. Maybe you're lucky that day while well, going to work, just get it and you get rich that day. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I am so thrilled and excited to take you to what I consider one of the most beautiful subway stations right now in China. I'm talking about Harbin Metro System. This is one of the entrances for one of the stations in the system. Let's go inside and take a look to this beautifully newly built subway system here in Northeast China, the city of Harbin. I don't think there are many people so excited about going to a subway station like me. I always do that. I consider part of tour or the experience of visiting a city going to the subway station or visiting the metro system, the public transportation. That tells me a lot of how good or bad it is to live in that place. So I usually go to visit any city I must include subway from one place to the other just by subway because there are so many cities here in China that are so conveniently connected that you might not need to call a taxi. Just take subway, it might take you basically anywhere in the city for a very small amount of money, which is very good for traveling. Harbin Metro was opened less than 10 years ago. It's a very new metro system connecting the whole city. It basically consists up to now of three different subway lines, line one, two, and three. And in total, it has 66 subway stations. Right now, several expansions are under construction and two more lines are being planned right now for the upcoming year, connecting the most important places to make super convenient to be transported and to be moved all around the city. Here, like every subway system in China, you have these kind of modules where you can basically purchase a ticket. You have all the information and the cool thing you also have English for visitors like us who might not be able to speak or understand Chinese. It is able to understand English, Chinese and Russian. Russian is a widely spoken language here in this part of China. Technology is also part of this subway system. Just as we saw in other systems in China, like the one in Shenzhen, we can find here several ways for the payment. They do accept cash, of course. They also take the QR code from WeChat, for example, or Alipay, but they also have this one that uses digital fingerprint from your finger. So they can just register first, like elderly, for example, and they can just use the finger for the payment and get a ticket uh, to transfer you know, to different stations here. So that one is mind blowing. I love to see these kind of advancements when it comes to payment methods that is also incorporated to daily life, like the one here in the Harbin subway. That's really cool. You can also find quite curious things in these stations like this vending machine for lottery tickets. So if you're coming to work and you feel like lucky, you want to try your luck, you can purchase your ticket right here at this vending machine. That's quite interesting because we don't have these ones in Shenzhen as far as I remember. But I mean, that's cool. Maybe you're lucky that day while well, going to work, just get it and you get rich that day. One of the trains are part of the uh, subway system here in Harbin. As you can tell, they look 
brand new, super clean, super modern. We have all these screens that will tell you all the different stations that are part of this line. This is line, I believe, number two. And we were at Sun Island. We're heading to Ice and Snow World. Remember, Harbin is a city famous for the snow attractions. We're coming in summertime, so we definitely need to come back during winter time where you can find the best places to have fun in this city. So anyway, this train is not that different from the ones we can find in Shenzhen, Guangzhou or Shanghai. And the reason why is because China is trying to standardize the construction and building of the subway systems all around the country to make it more convenient to build and cheaper. Since we have the same kind of trains, the same kind of technologies in different cities, they can use the expertise that they have used in other cities to build different subway systems all around the country. I think that is very clever and Harbin is not the exception for that. I've been here uh, for just a few minutes already. I'm just so impressed with the beauty of the station. I know this is a brand new system actually, and all the stations are super well built with a lot of technology, but the colors and the design is very good looking as well. As you can tell, uh, there is some differences with the subway stations that we can find in cities like Guangzhou or Chongqing. And it's because of the influence that the Russian culture has in this place. Harbin is the capital of Heilongjiang province, which is bordering with Russia on the north. So the influence that the Russian culture has in this city, in the architecture, music, and food, and language is very noticeable. And you can tell that's the case of these kind of stations. Actually, I was checking a few pictures before coming here of some of the stations, some of the better looking stations in here. It looks quite similar to some of the stations that we can find in Moscow and St. Petersburg. You can tell also here the columns, the arcs, the lamps, even the lamps on the top of these stations resembles a lot of those stations that we can find in these subway systems in Russia. So coming to Harbin subway is also quite a very, very nice experience. At the exits of the different stations, we can also count with tons of technology. As you can tell here, it's like a brand new module with several ways to exit or actually pay for your ride. So one of the options is the single ride card, the one they have right here. Just introduce here and you can go out. The other one is using your phone. You can use either Alipay, WeChat or the app for the subway. But this is one of the latest ones, which is facial recognition. It has some cameras here. Of course, you need to register, which I'm not, but you just place here your face you'll be able to scan your face like this with the couple cameras they have here. And just like that, with any other further process, it can, you can just pay for your ride and go out of the station. This one is mind blowing, considering the fact that these kind of payment methods are being implemented all around the country. More than 700 million people are being benefit with this kind of technology. So it's fast, convenient, and safe. Folks, I'm going to be wandering around nice and beautiful places here in China and documenting about it. I will also be Instagramming my day today and my trips in this awesome country. Feel free to follow me and leave your comments and impressions over there about life in China. I will leave the link to my account in the description down below. Remember to like the video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my follow-up stories about what's going on in this part of the world. If you think there might be someone else interested in these kind of videos, please consider sharing. My name is Rafael, thanks for watching and stay safe until next time.